Welcome to the five steps to navigating regulatory requirements for software as a medical device. Software as a medical device is a rapidly growing industry that offers innovative solutions for healthcare providers and patients. However, navigating the regulatory requirements can be challenging. This guide will provide insights and tips to help you succeed in the software as a medical device industry. So number one, understand the software as medical device regulatory landscape. Before entering the software as a medical device industry, it is important to have a clear understanding of the regulatory landscape. Different countries and regions have different regulatory requirements for these types of products, and it is important to comply with all applicable regulations. In the United States, the FDA regulates software as medical devices as medical devices, while in the European Union, software as medical devices is regulated under the Medical Device Regulation, or the MDR, or in vitro diagnostic regulations, which is the IVDR. It is important to stay up to date on any changes or updates to regulations in your target markets. Two you need to determine the classification of your software as a medical device. The classification of your software as a medical device will determine the level of regulatory scrutiny it will undergo. In the United States, the FDA classifies medical devices into three categories, class one, class two, and class three. Software as a medical device can fall into any of these categories depending on its intended use and risk level. In the European Union, Software as a medical device is classified under the MDR or IVDR based on its intended use and risk level. It is important to determine the classification of your software as a medical device early on in its development process to ensure compliance with regulatory requirements. Let us help you develop a regulatory strategy. Developing a regulatory strategy for your software as a medical device can be overwhelming but it is crucial for the success in the industry. Consider seeking the help of a regulatory expert who can guide you through the process and ensure compliance with all necessary regulations. They can also help you navigate any challenges that may arise during the regulatory process, saving you time and money in the long run. Don't hesitate to reach out for assistance in developing your regulatory strategy. Number four, conduct thorough testing and validation. One of the most important steps in navigating regula regulatory requirements for software as a medical device is conducting thorough testing and validation. This includes testing the software for safety, effectiveness, and usability. It is important to document all testing and validation processes and their results, as this information will be required for regulatory submissions. Additionally, it is important to stay up to date with any changes to regulatory requirements and adjust your testing and validation processes accordingly. Work with a regulatory expert can also help that, you, that your testing and validation processes meet all the necessary requirements. And number five, maintain compliance through ongoing monitoring and updates. So once your software as a medical device product is on the market, it is important to continue monitoring and updating it to ensure ongoing compliance with regulatory requirements. This includes monitoring for any adverse events or safety concerns related to your product, as well as staying up to date on any changes to regulatory requirements. It is also important to have a plan in place for addressing any issues that may arise, such as conducting additional testing or making updates to the software. By staying vigilant and proactive, you can help ensure that your software as a medical device product remains compliant and safe for users.